Turned out a new engine was required, the belt had snapped and my valves had used the pistons like an anvil. So I said, how many of these cars have you got in with the same problem? The answer was 50 plus. Good afternoon, I am broadcasting today from a Mazda 5 Sport with a slidey door on it. I've always quite liked these, especially in that really cool purple colour. But this is not my car, I've borrowed it from Dimmy who is currently working on my Volvo. However, I know, I know, I know I'm not filming in a Volvo, I apologise. I appreciate that this is very strange for regular viewers to see me in an MPV. But let's do the video anyway. I want to talk about Kias. We have a problem. Hello, Jeff. This will be a long message. I've got a Kia Sportage with the 1.6 litre mild hybrid diesel. It's been on the road for 24 months. So I presume that means he bought it new uh, and it's now 24 months old. Out of that 24 months, it has spent seven months in the garage awaiting and undergoing repairs. When the car was six months old, the engine failed on the M6 in lane four during rush hour traffic. There was no hard shoulder, cars were swerving to avoid me and blaring their horns. Turned out a new engine was required, the belt had snapped and my valves had used the pistons like an anvil. At 12 months old, it happened again, but I got it to a garage before the valves and pistons got acquainted. The bottom pulley tensioner was replaced and I was assured it wouldn't happen again. At 18 months old, the car lost power again. I even injured myself whilst pushing the car with the RAC. This time they had the car for almost five months for an engine rebuild. I asked why it was taking so long and they said supply and demand. So I said, how many of these cars have you got in with the same problem? The answer was 50 plus. And like me, these cars weren't first time offenders and this was at one dealership. The problem was so bad, they'd had to rent parking spaces from neighbouring businesses because the dealership had run out of space to store broken vehicles. At 23 months old, the engine light once again came on, but I was very close to Kia, so I took it straight to the dealer. They said it was a sensor and that the codes needed resetting and that they'd have it fixed in 30 minutes. Three hours later, it still wasn't done. I asked why it was taking so long to clear a code from a sensor and they said it was due to having to perform a forced regen. But I usually do between 150 and 200 miles a day and I've never felt the car do a regen. On earlier models, yes, but not on this one. And I don't know this for sure, but I think, Jeff, they changed the bottom pulley system again while I was waiting. So without telling him, they told him it was a sensor, rushed it into the back of the yard, and they were quickly like, here, Dave, look, that chap's back again. We've told him it's a sensor, but can you not rebuild the whole engine? I'll stall him, I'll make him a coffee. I've told him half an hour, how long are you gonna be? Two hours, see if you can do it in one. Go, I'll get the kettle on. Is this happening at dealerships? I've contacted the Driver and Vehicle Standards Agency and they do know about the issue, but because the wheels aren't locking up and the brakes and steering wheel are working, they say the problem isn't serious enough for them to look at it. My personal opinion is that this is negligence. One of the service managers seemed convinced that neither the parts nor the instructions to fix the cars were fit for purpose because so many of these cars had broken down again and again and again. I did receive a letter from Kia, which admitted they haven't communicated properly with customers and that the situation had been handled badly. But there's also letters on the internet from insiders saying this is a big issue, but it's being swept under the carpet. Anecdotally, he says, I think dealers might have been threatened to ensure that the information doesn't make it into the public domain. And that's from back in 2020. But I must stress that I can't prove this, so don't quote me on it, sort of covering his backside there, just in case anyone from Kia is watching. My main concern is that I've never had a letter drop onto my doormat, nor a ping on my phone, or a text, or an email about a recall or an issue. Am I missing something here? What should I actually do? Thanks for reading. What's interesting here is he's gone to the dealer, he's gone to the DVSA. What's next? Trading standards? The government? I can see why I'm getting emails like this in my inbox because, like he says at the end, what should I actually do? He knows there's a problem. The car's had the same problem three times. There's 50 cars, more than 50 cars, 
backed up at the dealership with the same issue. The technicians know it's a problem. The service managers know it's a problem. So what's it going to take for Kia to say, this is a major problem? we're issuing a recall. Now I can understand from Kia's point of view that they want to keep it quiet and they don't want to issue a recall because that's going to cost them a lot of money. So is their strategy just to keep putting customers off, keep making them coffee and telling them they're only going to be half an hour when keeping their cars for four hours and secretly replacing parts? I can't prove that that's happening, but it certainly seems from reading between the lines that that is the issue. And what's more, on the subject of people having nowhere to go, this is not the first email I've had from people with similar concerns about car manufacturers and about certain engines. People are having major problems with these cars, problems that they know mean the vehicle should be recalled and repaired, but they're not getting anywhere with the dealer, with the manufacturer, with trading standards, with the DVSA. So it's falling on the likes of Jeff Buys Cars and YouTube and forums and Facebook groups to voice their concerns and connect with other people who have got the same problem. That's ludicrous. So these modern cars that were being sold because they're reliable and they're better than the cars that they replaced, are causing customers some major, major stress. So, I mean, to have owned a car for 24 months, of which it spent seven months in the garage, one stint was five months long. Five months without your car that's not even that old. It's absolutely not acceptable is it so if you have a kia especially if it's a sportage 1.6 litre mild hybrid diesel and you know about these problems or you've had these problems tell me in the comments or by email what did your dealer do about it what was your gut feeling on how it was handled and what more do you know about the problems with these engines because clearly this guy is not on his own and i'm pretty keen to investigate this a little bit further so there we go. That's the Kia one. Right, next up we've got to do something about Suzuki because Suzuki engines have got some pretty bad problems going on as well. That'll be in a future video. Crikey, thanks for watching. Keep sending me these emails, they're great. Jeff buys cars. Still, YouTube's most boring car channel.